friends welcome back to the shop today is Sunday July 28th and it is a pretty nice day here in southeastern Pennsylvania uh, gonna be a little hot and humid but we'll we'll get by July almost the end of July believe it or not it's just crazy but uh, here we are so a couple things to talk about today I'm enjoying some haunted bookshop in my little stubby thing that I don't have a name for that I made um, I'm, I'm still toying with what to call these because these are these are made from the preformed stumbles and um, right now because it's cane rod pipes which refers to the uh, bamboo fly rods uh, that's how the name came about originally I was thinking of calling these the pole series in, uh, in recognition of like the cane poles that you know kids would use to fish just the piece of bamboo with the line on the end of it because uh, these are pre-phrased stumbles I don't know. Let me know what you think. That, that's where that's my working title right now. So, uh, just gave it the first light, so we'll... Ah! So I thought maybe it would be a good thing to talk a little bit about the upcoming Columbus Pipe Show today. Uh, as hopefully most of you know, uh, the National... No, the North American Society of Pipe Collectors is having their annual meeting in Columbus, uh, August... I'm going to get the dates wrong. It's the weekend of August 9th. I think it's August 9th and 10th. I will check my calendar so I do not get the dates wrong. I should have written this down. I apologize. So, yes, it is August 9th and 10th, and it's being held at the Crown, Crown Plaza Hotel in Columbus, Ohio. If, you've, if you're in the area and you can at all get there, it's well worth the trip. Uh, if you're not in the area and you feel like traveling that weekend, it's well worth the trip. It's a great time, a lot of great guys, a lot of great pipes, a lot of great tobacco. It's just, it, it, it's the pipe smoking highlight of my year, I'll say that much. Uh, and I can say that mostly because I don't usually get to any other pipe shows, but I really make it a point to get to this one. So, plans are afoot to do that. I've got some things that have to happen first, and it's a bit of a mess here because the original plan was my wife was going to come home for that week because she's in Pittsburgh taking care of her dad. And uh, I was going to actually go fishing and then uh, in central PA, drive up into northern Ohio and then drop down to Columbus. And I was really looking forward to that trip. But unfortunately, and it's it's all good, uh, she is is going to have to stay in Pittsburgh because it turns out her dad needs two people to take care of him, not one. Uh, for reasons and therefore she cannot come home that week because her other sister is not available and for reasons so but it's all fine you know it, what she's doing is more important and I fully support her in that and I told her it's not a big deal I can fish anytime so fishing's canceled but the plan is to kennel the dogs and go to the pipe show the reason i'm not going fishing is i just don't want to kennel the dogs for that long it's expensive it costs more to put my two dogs in the kennel for the night than it costs for me to go to a hotel for the night uh, which is crazy but then again they do get fed you don't get fed at a hotel so. they get a bath at the end too nobody comes and gives you a bath at the that'd be weird anyway i want to try to limit the kennel time and uh so I'll put them in the kennel probably Thursday morning and then I'll drive straight out to Columbus um, and then my, my, I've always planned to get there Thursday night because I just I don't want to go to the show Friday after driving 10 hours just that's no fun now there's a new addition to the show this year and uh, if you don't know about this there is a pipe smoking a slow slow smoke competition I just found out about this because I got the uh, North American Society of Pipe Collectors quarterly newsletter yesterday. And uh, sure enough, they're having a slow smoke competition. Uh, they will be starting that at 3 p.m. So the show doesn't start until 5 p.m. on Friday. 3 p.m. on Friday is the slow smoke. You register for it at the show. I'm not, I have no more details than that. So in true... NASPC uh, fashion, they've provided almost no information <laughs> that's useful. <laughs> I'm sorry to pick on them, but 
I, I thought this was hilarious. They put out this flyer every year, and you you recognize the flyer. It's like pink and blue, and it's it's very very recognizable. And uh, it's great. You know, it announces the show and lets you know where it's going to be and what the dates are and everything. And then it says, you know, get a table for this much and reserve your room. And this is, you know, the. And this year they decided to get. I guess they're getting modern, so they put a link to the website where you can reserve your room. Because it used to be that you have to call, uh, which is fine. I don't mind calling, but uh, it's easier just to type it in. You know. So I'm like, oh, great, a link. And and then I realized this is a PDF. The link is like three lines long, <laughs> and it's a PDF, and I can't click on it. So I think, well, surely they'll have it on their website. No, no, it's it's not available anywhere. So, uh, yeah, it's that cold. Uh, we gotta 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 fix that. Their website's wonderful. They've got the pipe of the year up uh, from 2020. Um, they do have a pipe of the year this year. I forget who carved it, but you can buy it or you can order it at the show. There's always a um, show tobacco every year, show blend. Um, it's a, it, uh, I'm sorry, I picked on them a little bit for their website and their flyer. Uh, it's, it's not often an old guy like me gets to pick on somebody for not being technologically uh, modern. But it's a great organization. Um, and they really, really they put out a fantastic quarterly newsletter. I really enjoy reading that. And they do a fantastic job with this show. So, again, if you can at all get to the Columbus Pipe Show, the North American Society of Pipe Collectors, uh, annual pipe show. It's well worth it, and I hope I get to see you there. All right, so that's that. Oh, uh, in terms of like general planning, like what pipes to take, what, what tobaccos to take, all that, I have no idea. I usually, I know guys plan this like way in advance. I, I can't do that. I just, and, and it's the same thing with planning for a trip. Like my wife will start packing the week before we go somewhere. And if we're leaving at eight o'clock in the morning on tomorrow, I'll probably start packing around 8 o'clock tonight just to get it out of the way before I go to bed. Uh, yeah, I just don't... I guess it's because I don't like travel. I don't mind... Well, I really don't like travel. I love being places. Like, I love it when we go on vacation and we're there and I'm experiencing that. I just don't like getting there. Uh... Although there is something about a long road trip. Um, I used to drive back and forth from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia uh, on a near weekly basis because I had a girlfriend in Philadelphia and I was in graduate school in Pittsburgh. And those drives were memorable. You know, I, I really enjoyed... I'd uh, get on the road, I'd have my pipe with me, I'd, I'd be playing music or, you know, as you get in deep into the state of Pennsylvania, you can start to pick up these unusual AM stations and listen to like AM talk radio and just like local stuff, like guys uh, reading the local news, like actually just like reading the one ads out of the paper and stuff like that. And that was fun. And uh, then you, you, you know, stop at the rest stops for coffee and, and just keep going. And sometimes I'd be doing this in the middle of the night because I was stupid. I was a graduate student. We didn't sleep anyway. Uh, a couple of times it was it was pretty dangerous. I mean, I felt myself drifting off and had to pull over, and you know, coffee wasn't working anymore. You know, a couple of times I really was risking it, and I shouldn't have done that. But most of the trips were good, and I just really have some good memories about about that. So when I go on road trips, like when I drive out to Columbus, it kind of rekindles some of that. Uh, same thing when I go up to Vermont to visit my family. It's it just, there's something about it. And, and I've got to be alone. That's the interesting thing. If my wife goes along with me, it's completely different. She doesn't let me drive. If I do drive, uh, she doesn't let me play with the radio. You know, she's very, very particular. Uh, she gets car sick if she doesn't drive. So I rarely get to drive on trips. So yeah, it's just something about that I enjoy. Ah, uh, yeah. So anyway, I will be... Probably packing the night before. Uh, Got to figure out what pipes I'm taking, and I, I want to go through my tobacco cellar and find a couple of unique tins to uh, to take and share. I'm sure I've got something buried in there uh, that's worthwhile behind the 60 pounds of haunted bookshop. I don't have 60 pounds. 
I've got a lot, but I don't have 60 pounds. I think I have more than 10 and less than 20 would be my guess, but I haven't looked in a long time. And I stopped cataloging it. I, that's a shame. I had a nice database that I just stopped. I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll, I'll do all that during the week and then get ready to go. Uh, what this means in terms of the, the, the show and the live stream is there will be a live stream next week and there will be a Sunday show next week. But the following week, I'll be at the pipe show, so probably, or, or I'll be driving home. So probably neither of those will happen. There's a chance. Uh, I've been wanting to make the second video in my advice to new and young pipe smokers, new and or young pipe smokers, uh, for a long time. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll get that done and I can have that post the Sunday that I'll be at the show. So that's a possibility. We'll see. All right. So what else is going on? Quick update on my brother. They've done three more very large sample biopsies from the mass in his colon, and they've all come back negative for cancer. So they still don't know what's going on with him, but the good news is he's getting stronger. He's, uh, he seems to be healing, and it looks like they're going to be able to do some treatment. So that's a good thing. They just have to figure out what the heck they're treating. Uh, but anyway, he's in good spirits. I'll talk to him later today. My father-in-law uh, was in the hospital for a bit. He's now home. Uh, his 93rd birthday is coming up very soon. Uh, so if you're watching, happy birthday, Ray. And I know you're not watching, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, you know, he's 93. So he's uh, he's got problems. But um, my wife's there helping out her mom, uh, who's also, I don't know how old her mom is, and I'm not going to make up a number. But she's not young. And... Uh, comparable age to, to to her father and you know she's not able to lift the guy up and stuff like that you know so there's just stuff that needs to be done that um and now it's gotten to the point where his legs are so weak they need two people that can do that uh, i said i wasn't going to get into that and i did anyway he's doing okay and for both my brother scott and for my father-in-law ray if your prayers could please continue they're really helping they, they are and I greatly appreciate it. And I continue to pray for all of you guys. You hopefully saw my video on Wednesday about Phil Rivera and his predicament. If you haven't, go watch that video. Uh, a lot of good stuff happening for Phil. I chatted with him a bit uh, Friday, yesterday. And uh, he's, he's getting close to being okay. But it's still a scary time for him. And you know, a lot going on. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So uh, prayers go out to our brother Phil, uh, and uh, whatever help he needs, we'll, we'll do our best. And so many other folks to pray for and, and, and you know, ask for healing or peace or you know, so many things. So many things. It's a crazy time for a lot of folks. So keep the whole community in your prayers. If you're not a praying type, just think kindly about them and... Just keep them in your heart. With that, folks, I'm going to draw this very rambly video to an end. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being my friend and for putting up with me. <laughs> and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.